President Joe Biden is back to work in the Oval Office after recovering from what's been described as a mild case of COVID-19. Well, here to answer your questions is Dr. Paul Sachs, Clinical Director of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. All right, Dr. Sachs, as you well know, the president's 79 years old, which puts him in a very high risk group for severe illness and possibly death from COVID. So what do you credit most for his what appears to be pretty quick recovery here less than a week? Well, as you know, the, the president underwent vaccination for COVID-19, including uh, both of the booster doses that are now recommended for people his age. That clearly plays a major role. We know the vaccines are not quite as good at preventing illness as we once thought, but they're really good at preventing severe disease. And his disease was, as we heard, quite mild. So there's that, plus the fact that he took the drug Paxlovid. Mm -hmm. And Paxlovid has been shown to reduce the severity of COVID-19 also. So these are two major tools we have now that we did not have in 2020. Right. And we know that President Biden also said many of us are still going to get COVID, even if we take the precautions. Uh, your take on that? Well, it does look that way. Uh, I'm sure you two know, as everyone does, people who have just recently gotten COVID for the first time. A lot of this has to do with the fact that many of us have gone back to living our lives very much the way we did before the pandemic. And so there's a lot more chance to be exposed, especially in settings like restaurants, gyms, bars, and other places that we know COVID is transmitted easily. However, I want to emphasize this. If we do the right things, which is get vaccinated and have available treatment for people at high risk, that the uh, per case severity of COVID-19 is now much lower than it was before. And Dr. Sachs, I'm going to go off script here for a second because I want to ask you, you mentioned Paxlovid. When would he be out of the woods for that Paxlovid rebound? We've heard of folks who take it, they test negative, and then a couple of days later test positive again. What would you be watching for the president in that case? So most of the cases of Paxlovid rebound occur within uh, a few days to as much as a week later. Uh, and they also are generally accompanied by a recurrence of the symptoms that originally brought people to attention. So if he starts to have, again, runny nose, cough, feeling kind of unwell, I'd be worried about a rebound. And the good news on the rebounds, if there is good news, is that most of them are still pretty mild and very rare to see any serious complications from the rebounds. Another good reason why the president said he's going to be masked for the next five days. Yeah. Uh, but another question here that we want to ask you about. This is about monkeypox. The CDC now confirms 96 cases in Massachusetts and nearly 3,600 in the U.S. We also recently learned, you know, those cases include two children, a pregnant woman. In your opinion, is it too late now to contain this outbreak? Well, I do want to emphasize that the vast majority of cases are still seen in men. Uh, right now, about 95 to 99 percent of cases are still in men and predominantly in men who have sex with men. And it, the reason it's in that group is because most of the cases are being transmitted sexually uh, or by very close contact. Now, of course, there will be cases outside of that group. We've already seen them, as you've mentioned. Uh, but for now, we really need to focus our prevention efforts on the group most strongly affected by monkeypox. All right, Dr.